We got the Denver Broncos versus the New England Patriots. Now, New England uh, is likely to be without Cam Newton. I can't remember when his test came in and, and the news dropped, but I believe it's a 10-day sit, which means Cam Newton will also be out next week. But let's uh, keep... Uh, yeah, you know, we'll see about that. Yeah, let's we'll see about it because it, there's some <laughs> different... It, it's a really kludgy process. Like the, yeah. the um, you know, if he has a few negative tests this week, he might be able to get in the lineup. So it's weird, okay? It's just a weird situation. Um, reminder for everybody, we did not watch Monday Night Football because for us, we record on Monday morning, so the Monday Night Football games have not happened. So we do not know the storylines. Denver, we did see the Thursday night game. We know what to expect. Um, let me just hit you with projections here. For Denver, I don't like anybody starting. Pay attention to Tim Patrick because I do think he's viable this season with Cortland Sutton out, Judy taking the wide receiver one targets. Patrick is a pretty reasonable wide receiver to have. I think I don't think last week was a fluke, but New England is not the week to start him. Um, New England, on the other hand, look, if Cam Newton can go, he's a start. I don't know what Stidham is yet. We'll find out tonight in the game, uh, the Monday Night Football game versus Kansas City. He's a New England player, which means he's probably going to play better than we all think. Okay, that's Maybe Daily Fantasy takes some bets, but other than that, I don't know. Um, running backs, I don't love against Denver. Their defense is actually pretty good. Wide receivers, I think in Keel Harry. I'm just putting it on tape. This is the week, um, I should say week five is the week. That uh, that Enkeel Harry gets in the end zone. I don't know if he blows up on Monday Night Football again. We haven't watched it yet, and then I stay away from everybody else in New England. It's just without Cam Newton, I'm a little bit worried. But if Cam Newton's in, you know, I start Cam Newton and, and think that he'll basically just try to be the running back and run over Denver. Take it away, David. Well, I'll tell you what. Um, I like the call for Enkeel Harry about next because I think he'll get into the end zone tonight against Kansas City. I, I had him in a lot of my DFS lineups. Mm-hmm which I just got into this year. I'm already becoming addicted. So <laughs> if, if you've got an addictive personality, hold out as long as you can. <laughs> Start playing that thing. Is, I, I set, like, two lineups the first week. I set, like, 15 last week. Yep, yep. I was just hitting the $1 lineup. Like, yep, oh, uh, yep, there you go. I got to get a lineup with that guy. I got to get a lineup with that guy. I got to get a lineup with that guy. So be careful, guys. It's addictive. Um, we'll say – for the Patriots, I want to see if Damian Harris, one, is he activated? Yeah, right. Two, what kind of role does he have tonight yes. against Kansas City? Again, uh, we'll see about James White. He could have a big bounce back. Uh, there is that factor, and it's you don't want to put too much into it, but he, lo- he lost his father. His mom, yeah. uh, he had this serious, uh, I think she was in serious condition as well. And we've seen it before. Players uh, come out after a, a a death in the family or some sort of personal, you know, loss. And they, they play well, they play yeah. motivated. So I think James white, he's probably a great play tonight against the chiefs, especially when we, they're probably going to be losing almost all game. So I think James white is, is probably going to be a good mm-hmm. play this week and next week against yeah. Denver, even if they're winning against Denver, Denver, there's not really a whole lot to talk about. If you got Judy, you're probably using him Fant, We'll see if he's even healthy. I know he's got some sort of injury he's dealing with. Rippin, that that's what you talk about. He gives his guys a chance. And Tim Patrick, six for one thirteen yeah. in a touchdown this past week. And some people want to just chalk it up to the Hamler injury, but he has four receptions in three of the first four games. Oh yeah. Four yeah. four for twenty nine week one, two for twenty four week two, four for forty three in a touchdown week three, even when Hamler was active, and then week four, obviously six for one thirteen in a touchdown. He's seen four targets in all four games. Uh, four, five, five, and seven targets. So he's absolutely usable, especially on a team that's probably going to be losing just about every game. Yep. Let me hit you with the line here. Bavada has Denver plus 11 versus New England. Who do you got? Plus 11? Plus 11. <sighs> I'm, I'm going to take the Patriots just because that defense is coached so well. Yeah. I think you, you throw in a third-string quarterback – against New England Patriots defense. He looked all right against the Jets defense. I'm not so sure it doesn't all come falling apart and just unraveling against the Patriots. Give me the, give me the Patriots here. Yeah, Belichick is really good against, you know, kind of rookie or first-time starting um, quarterbacks uh, as, a, as a defensive coordinator. He, if anything gives him trouble, it's more mobile quarterbacks, and that's not Rippon's game. I like New England here, even if Stidham plays. If Stidham plays, I probably take it off the board entirely. If Cam Newton plays, I think it's honestly a slam dunk. 